Hey everyone, this is my 17th update of my Aquion 54 corner tank. Again, uh, many changes has happened since my last update, uh, especially with the fish department. Got a couple of different corals. Want to start off saying to uh, rest in peace my Bali Aqua Rich clownfish, the female. I uh, had her for roughly about a year and uh, she got sick a handful of times. And unfortunately, the last time she got sick, about a couple of weeks ago, she stopped eating for about, say, about eight to nine days. And uh, she perished because she got, I think, too weak. Uh, had multiple infections. I think it was maybe a genetic issue. The freshwater dip helped after doing it four or five times after the first infection. Then about maybe three or four months later, she got another infection. And I did the same thing with a freshwater dip. Unfortunately, uh, this time around, the freshwater dip didn't help, and uh, she, she perished. And, and she, again, she stopped eating and couldn't really do much for her. The other clownfish from uh, the little male that's uh, in the corner right here, which was the uh, Bali Aquarich and a Nebula clownfish uh, descendant, is doing very good. And the Newer clownfish that I have here is called an Alrod Infrared Clownfish, which is a Bali Aquarich and a Donny Caso uh, descendant. The claim to fame for this particular breeder, as you can see here, is the color difference in the orange. It's more of a deeper reddish orange color. Uh, most of the breeded clownfish these days have a very like pale or yellowish uh, color to their skin, where this is the darker red color and they said they're the only one with this type of mix could get this type of coloration in the clownfish so very cool clownfish it's just a lot smaller than the, the female that i had but is definitely bigger than the current clownfish so they got along pretty well with no aggression and uh right away he was submissive to the new clownfishes right here so earl rass is doing very well um I decided to sell a lot of my fish and wanted to go direction to more of a more rare type of fish tank uh, where you don't really see prices or see these fish on a typical uh, marketplace or fish store. Uh, obviously the Earl Rass you can see pretty much you could probably get your hands on one. You know it still demands a nice price tag on it. Very very pretty Rass. It's a deep water Rass. Uh, the other fish that I have is the candy basslet. The candy basslet is from Caraco and it is very, very active and pretty. Nice magenta colors. My other fish that I have here is a, not rare, but it's a cool fish here, is a coral croucher. I, did, I do have two of them. They came as a bonded pair from Live Aquaria. Uh, it's actually sitting in this Duncan Coral too. If you could look, look straight, it's pretty cool. Duncan Coral come from Australia because it has the green stalk. I uh, just got him at that about a week and a half ago and so far it's so good. I did get a, here's the female one. The spike fin goby is doing pretty good. Oh, let me get the view of that other fish there. There he is. Found him. That's a little one right there. She likes that little wedge right there. The spike fin goby I actually saw a couple of days ago. It, uh, you know, once in a while I get the presence of it. But the newest fish is called a bicolor basslet. And that's from Caraca too. Deep water. Needs a submarine to get it. Just got her a few days ago. It looks like a royal grandma in a sense. But they're definitely very, very pretty. And right now it's shy. As you can see right there. Uh, still new. Uh... So, very cool fish, uh, and hopefully uh, she does well in this tank, but right now she's shy. I also did get a fish, uh, it's called a uh, blunt nose basslet. It's also an old deep water fish. It's not as colorful, it has a nice yellow tail to it. It's hard to see with this light flashing on it. I don't know how, if he's gonna do or she's gonna do well. Uh, it's breathing normally now but it hasn't eaten yet but then again it still needs to get acclimated to this tank and uh, you know it, it doesn't have the rapid breathing so it might have a chance if I could get it to start eating I think uh, he will survive just uh, 
you know, the bicolor bass, believe it or not, got replaced because uh, it is, um, it didn't ship well the first one I got and it, and it died pretty much when I received it, even though it was uh, still breathing. But they did, the vendor was pretty good about replacing it. Usually they only give dead or on arrival, not uh, other, any other guarantee because they are rare fish in deep water and they're very expensive. So. I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully it does well in the next uh, video and you can see it swimming around. I did add a lot more rock anemones since you've seen in the last one. I made actually a rock anemone garden. As you can see here, I just have so many different kinds of designs and colors and shapes. It's all over here. My tube anemone that I bought actually came off the rock that I had originally and went down here somehow. So ever since it uh, landed there, it's doing well. So I left it alone, it has a green center as you can see here, nice purple coloration to it. I got a nice orange plate coral right here and another one that's new has the uh, like neon yellowish uh, tentacles. So pretty cool. I got um, this here if you look on reefbuilder.com along with the other rare fish that I have you could probably find uh, information on them. Uh, some is maybe is three or four years old. So that's how rare you don't really see it. Uh, this is all called a artist painter mushroom. Uh, this is actually a one of the original ones off of the Reef Builder. If you look up that name, I believe it's it's in Reef Builders that particular colony. So I did able to uh, capture this particular uh, mushroom. It looks really really nice on the blue Atenix. Right now I have my date lights going on. The cocoa worm here is doing very well along with the uh, other cocoa worm which is in right now. Got more mushrooms here. The jawbreaker is doing very well. My, I got here, you know what, let me see if I can get a picture of here. Now this is a ghost shrimp and it's really hard to see. There it is. Pretty cool. If you look them up a ghost shrimp, you could probably get a better picture than I'm showing you on this video. But one thing you probably go see a picture of, and I had two of them, but the candy bass that decided he was at a $30 meal because this is what this little shrimp co uh, cost. Uh, it's in this rock here. It's called a prima cleaner shrimp. It's really hard to see because he's in this rock here, but you can see the tentacle if you look focus right in the middle there. It's very red, uh, very cool looking one. You can look, you can find pictures online. So it's prima, P R I M A. Uh, cleaner shrimp and you can see what the little guy looks like but this one has been smart the same when they were crevice because the uh, unfortunately the candy bass had tentacles out of his mouth when I saw or antennas out of his mouth uh, when I caught him snacking on him with a fat belly so fortunately it is what it is uh, some of these basslets will eat on a cleaner shrimp and, uh, and you can't do nothing about it uh, that's some cool uh, mushrooms here. These Redacus mushrooms are really bright green, a little purple in it, so that's a pretty cool mushroom. Uh, I've been sticking around with the, like the cooler mushrooms out there because uh, of my uh, pretty much my phosphate issue. So some of these mushrooms do very well, some corals do not. I do have a nice gold clam that actually locked up onto the rock, and that does very well too. Is uh, well, so still have my tail spotting, tail spot blending from Philippines. It's my last uh, Filipino fish in here, so I'm half Philippine. My blue striped pipefish. Uh, funny thing is my male uh, did perish a while ago, but I bought another male and they already start spawning already and the male is carrying the eggs. Oh, there they are, found them. As you can see here, they're hanging up there in the corner. Uh, if I could get a, let me see if I could get it. You can see the egg on it. Let me see if you see the belly, how it looks a little fat. That's the male, the female to the right. The one to the left is the male. Uh, I do have a double video of the old male spawning with the female. So them two are getting along very well. And I have another, uh, it's called a clown goby. And I'm trying to find it. It's a pretty cool goby. Uh, it hangs usually upside down the rock. If you look them up, they're like called a circus clown goby or a circus bark goby. They're white. He kind of swims like a... Uh, it looks like he's doing like the brush stroke in the, in the water, which is pretty cool how they swim. Uh, but usually he hangs around. He likes hanging out in the front. He, I, once in a while, I guess he moves around down the, during the course of the day, but maybe I'll get him in the next video. But my last uh, video, I had a whole bunch of fish that I did sell. I did sell my 
a yellow banded hog, uh, yellow banded uh, possum rats. I did sell my um, Bellis Angel, my pair of my pintail rats. I did sell my orange spotted blenny, my El Freaky firefish. So I did reduce my fish load a lot and went more of the rare species in this tank. So I have a lot of deep, deep water fish here. Some you have to only acquire with uh, a submarine, pretty much. So, so that's pretty much my update. And uh, hopefully these newer fish that I have do well and acclimate very well. So I'm actually going to get some brine shrimp to try to spark a little trigger of eating. Because I really haven't seen them eat yet. But that's uh, normal for fish that's coming in from uh, a you know different area and just uh, new to the tank so hopefully I could get them start eating and enjoying the tank this candy bass that just loves swimming around all day long okay. yep so hope everyone else's tank is doing well and happy reefing <laughs>